Water. Of course, it's a fundamental resource. We need it every day, and it touches nearly every aspect of our life. But most of us don't think that much of water. We take it for granted. We don't necessarily think about where it comes from. If you ask most people in the United States where they get their water from, they'll shrug or they'll just say the tap. But the fact is, water comes from places like lakes, rivers, or groundwater. What a lot of people don't realize is that one of the major sources of water pollution are from nutrients. Nutrients like nitrogen or phosphorus come from things like chemical fertilizers. But when fertilizers are, are, are taken off of your lawn, for example, by rain, and they enter streams and rivers, they eventually can get into places like lakes or even the ocean, and they actually fertilize those systems. And they fertilize the algae that grow in lakes or the ocean. And it can cause outbreaks or blooms of algae. And this can be very bad for the quality of the water and for the, and, and for the lake or the ocean, because, for example, when a, when a big bloom of algae, when they die, they decompose, and that uses up oxygen. And periods of low oxygen can cause large fish kills. So from a global perspective, the majority of these nutrients are coming from agriculture. It's nutrients running off of farms. However, a decent proportion is coming from people's lawns and gardens. And at the local level, the way people manage their lawns and their gardens has a real effect on the health of the streams and lakes in your neighborhood. So what can you do? If your lawn doesn't need fertilizer, that's great, then you don't have to use it. However, if you do need to fertilize your lawn, make sure you're using the right type and amount of fertilizer and that you're applying it at the right time of year. For example, only use fertilizer when your lawn is actually growing. So we've been talking about how to keep the water clean that comes off of your property. Another thing you can do is to try to slow the water down as it leaves the property. For example, rain gardens can slow water down and, and temporarily hold it so the nutrients can drop out. And buffer strips along the edge of your property or particularly along a stream or a lake, buffer strips of native vegetation can act as filters that filter out the nutrients and the plants, the growing plants, can actually take up the nutrients. So these are some of the things that you can do to ensure that when you're taking care of your lawn or garden, you're not polluting lakes and rivers. However, as I said earlier, agriculture is the primary source of these nutrients. So what can you do about that? Well, one thing you can do is to make choices about food that support the kind of agriculture that doesn't contribute to excess pollution and nutrients into our lakes and rivers. For example, if you buy organic food, you know that the, the farm was not using chemical fertilizers. So we can all do our part. We can take better care of our lawns, and we can make choices about the food we eat that supports responsible agriculture that takes care of our lakes and rivers. If you want to learn more about protecting fresh water, you can visit us on the web at nature.org freshwater.